Welcome back, everybody. You're looking very well. Have you done something with your hair? It looks terrific. Uh, it's Thursday's House of Games. I'm joined by four famous faces. It's a really, really good battle this week. Somebody tomorrow is going to be walking away with that trophy right there. It'll be one of these four people. Martel Maxwell. <laughs> Matthew Horn. Chloe Petz. And Alex Beresford. <laughs> Maybe not Alex Beres, but listen, <laughs> it might be, it might be Alex, you never know. Well, it's Double Points Friday tomorrow. Double Points Friday tomorrow, exactly. Shall we take a look at the weekly leaderboard, Alex, to kick off? You find yourself at the bottom of it, but not like properly marooned like uh, someone normally is by Thursday. You're on five, Martel has eight, Matthew ten, Chloe eleven. So it's pretty close stuff. Chloe, two wins now out of yeah. three. I'm happy oh. with that. I'm sort of going on like the Alex Ferguson model of just be in the title race by January, you know? Ah, I just wanted to gotcha. be in it by Wednesday, so I'm in the mix, you know? Yeah, you can't you can't win it by January, but you can certainly lose it. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly, OK, that's good. Now, Matt, you won on Tuesday. Mm. You'd fancy that trophy, wouldn't you? I would love that trophy. It'd be <laughs> nice, wouldn't it? It'd be nice if you took the Alex Ferguson line of retiring. <laughs> exactly. And just sort of David Moyes that, it that from here on out. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Uh, Martel, yet to win this week, but you've been close a couple of times. Anything extra you can do? Just really try to focus. Just really try to focus. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes get the gist of it by the time the, it's ending, so I'm yeah. hoping by Thursday I'm now in the zone. Yeah, there's a lot of speed in, uh, in those middle two podiums, aren't there? It's very impressive. Would you like to take a look at today's prizes? Our Thursday winner gets to choose one of these. <sighs> oh, Deck chair, plant pot, dartboard, bamboo lunchbox or watering can. Martel, what do you fancy? Oh, the dartboard. I dart think board, I'd make yeah. a real centrepiece of it in the house. Yeah, it's a popular one, the dartboard. Matt? I can't believe anybody wouldn't want the dartboard. Dartboard as well. Chloe? I've got a routine about how much I hate the darts, but I'm desperate for that board. There you go. You're going to have to just change the routine yeah. if yeah. you win. <laughs> uh, Alex? I'd go with the deck chair. Sometimes Ooh. when you go to the beach, it can get a bit uncomfortable on your back when you're let down on your towel. Deck chair was sort yeah, of Yeah, deck chair is the most weatherman of the uh, of the prizes. <laughs> it today, is, is it not? So <laughs> dot ball, dot ball, dot ball, deck chair. Shall we do it? Round one today is. <laughs> Sounds like fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to show you a category. Our first category is Wimbledon finalists, and now I'm going to show you some pictures, and the pictures will sound like the name of a Wimbledon finalist. Okay. Just the surnames of some Wimbledon finalists represented by these pictures. Which Wimbledon finalist might that be, Matt? Williams. Williams, ah. absolutely. More than one William. Williams. Nicely done. Next Wimbledon finalist. Yes, Martel. Wade. Wade, absolutely right. Wade. So Virginia Wade, next Wimbledon finalist. You need to know who that is, I think. Yes, oh, Alex. Rafael Nadal. Not Nadal um... is incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, Matt. It's, it's Roddick. Roddick is yeah. the right answer. Wow. Fishing Rod and Dick Strawbridge there. Roddick. Next category. Pop groups. Which pop groups are these? Yes, Chloe. Venga Boys. Venga Boys. Well done. Awesome. Venga and two boys. Well done. Venga Boys. Oh, I wish they'd make a comeback. <laughs> the band. The band the Beatles wish they were. <laughs> Next pop group. Yes, Matt. Little Mix. Little oh, Mix is absolutely good. right. Stuart Little and two Mick Hucknalls. Very well done. Next pop group. <laughs> OK. Yes, Martel. Sister Sledge. Sister yeah, Sledge, very absolutely. Good. Very well done. Next category. Cluedo rooms. Which rooms from the Cluedo game are these? Yes, Matt. Kitchen. Very good. Oh, Very kitchen. Good. Very well good. done. Kit Harrington and his chin. 
very <laughs> well done, <laughs> kitchen. Uh, next clue, do rum. Yes, Chloe. Cellar. Cellar. Exactly what it is. Yes, well done. And final question in this round. Yes, Matt. Library. Library. Oh, that's good. Oh, well done. Well played. This is the end of that round. Let's take a look at what is uh, done to our scores. Alex keeping his powder dry today. Martel and Chloe, you have two points each. Matt Holm, we've been here before. Three-point lead. Five points. Well done. <laughs> Nicely done. Lovely start for Matt Horn. Should we play a pairs game? <laughs> you spell terrible. Alex, you are in fourth place. You get to choose your partner. Is there anyone you haven't? I'm trying to work out what team we haven't seen. Well, I've not gone with Chloe. And if I choose Chloe, we don't have to move. Oh, my goodness. Let's not Perfect. move. What, <laughs> what a lovely go. reason to choose me. <laughs> yeah, that's like, oh, that makes me feel so good. That wouldn't, you know what? Wouldn't that be lovely as vows at a wedding? <laughs> <laughs> <It'd be really laughs> <nice>. <laughs> How delightful. Alex and Chloe are a team, which means Martel and Matt are a team as well. Now, in this round, I'm going to ask you some questions. So, fingers on buzzers, everyone. Uh, if you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you will get a point if your partner can spell that answer. So here's your first question. In the name of the music genre R&B, what does the letter R stand for? Yes, Chloe. Rhythm. Yeah, rhythm is the answer. So, Come Alex, on, you got for this. a point, can you spell rhythm? R, H, Y, T. Yes. <laughs> HM. Oh, Alex Boom. Beresford, well played. Nicely Smashed done. It, mate. Well that done. was so tense. <laughs> <laughs> Very well played and rhythm. Very well done if you got that at home as well. Next question. What is the English title of the South Korean film that won Best Picture at the Oscars ceremony held in 2020? Yes, Chloe. Parasite. Parasite is the correct answer. Alex, for another point, can you spell parasite? P-A-R-A-S-I-T-E. Yeah, lovely. That's easier than rhythm, isn't it? Parasite. <laughs> Good job, mate. Well done. Alex, another point to you and Chloe. Next question. Which title character from a brother's grim fairy tale spins straw into gold? Yes, Matt. Rumpelstiltskin. Oh. Rumpelstiltskin <laughs> is the correct answer. Martel, for a point, can you spell Rumpelstiltskin, please? R U M P. Mm. Which way around? Yeah, which way around? <laughs> Everyone at home is saying which way around. L. No, it must be EL, is it? And then Rumpel, Stiltskin. There you go. That was unlucky. You stopped at exactly the point everyone at home was stopping at. Yeah. Um, next question. What is the surname of the Israeli politician Benjamin, who was the country's prime minister from 1996 until 99 before re-entering office in 2009? Yes, Matt. Netanyahu. Netanyahu is the oh correct answer. Gosh. Martel. I mean, good luck. For a point, can you spell Netanyahu, please? N. Netan. Why? No, not, I'm afraid. <sighs> so let's look at the rest of it. A lot of places we could have tripped up there. So best to trip up early <laughs> in some ways. Just an E. N E T. Can you spell this one at home? Netan. Oh, oh, like it sounds, really, I suppose. Netanyahu, well done if you got that right. Next question. In Greek mythology, who is the god of the sea? Chloe. Poseidon. Poseidon is the right answer. 
Alex for a point. Come and on, he, mate. He looks like he can spell Poseidon, doesn't he? Uh, can you spell Poseidon? Put it in your locker, I can you've feel done, You've done so well so far. P. <laughs> I. Not. Is it I'm Y? No, it's, it's po, O. Po. Yeah. Oh. Posai Is it E-I? E-I. Yeah. P-O-S-E-I-D-O-N. Okay. Poseidon. And the final question in this round is this. What is the first name of the actor who plays Kevin in Home Alone? And yes, Matt. Macaulay. Macaulay is the right answer. Martel, to end the round on a high, can you spell Macaulay? M. E. C. E. U. L. Oh, here we go. E. Why? Oh, well done, <laughs> I thought it was an E. Beautiful. Holy Culkin. <gasps> oh, and, and breathe, everybody. <laughs> well played, Martel. What a lovely end to the round. Some good spelling going on there. Um, let's take a look at the scores. Matt had a three point lead. He's now got a two point lead, but everybody within four points there. Alex with two, Martel with three, Chloe with four, Matt Horn with six. It's going to be a close one today, isn't it? Shall we move right along and play round three? That's the best order to do it in, isn't it? Yeah. Round three after round two, I think so. Here it is. It's all in the name. Now, in this round, all of the answers are contained somewhere within the letters of your names, OK? Fingers on buzzers, everyone. The first two questions in this round, the answers will be somewhere hidden amongst the letters of Martel Maxwell. A point for a correct answer. Unless, Martel, you get one on your name, and you'll get two points. Here's your first clue. Domesticated South American mammal valued for its soft, woolly fleece. Yes, Chloe. Llama? Llama. That's absolutely right, yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Well done. Llama is the answer, as so often in life. <laughs> Uh, next clue. Again, this is Martel Maxwell, so two points for Martel, one for anyone else. Milky substance from a plant that can be used to make rubber. Yes, Matt. Wax. Wax. That's incorrect. Do you know this one at home? It's rather stumped us all here. Shall we find out? Yeah. Latex. Ooh, latex. Oh, wow. There you go. Well done if you said that at home. Uh, Matt, the next two are in your name. We've gone with the full Matthew, just to give us a few extra letters. So one point for anyone who gets one of these. Two points, Matthew, if you can get one of them. 1976 horror film that stars Gregory Peck and Lee Remick as the parents of an evil child. Matt. The Omen. The Omen. Double points. It is The Omen. Well done. You know you had the omen in your name? Uh, not until today. No, never, never occurred. Are you fussed? Not really. It's yeah, slightly scary now, but I'm focused. Uh, that's good. Yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I was drawing his focus there a little bit. I apologise. Um, next question on Matthew Horn's name. London Airport that has the code LHR. Yes, Chloe. Uh, Heathrow. Heathrow? It is Heathrow. Well done. <laughs> Chloe, the next two are based on your name, Chloe Pets. Two points if you can get one of these, one for anyone else. Surname of sitcom father and son, played by Wilfred Bramble and Harry H. Corbett. Yes, Matt. Steptoe. Steptoe? Wow. Ooh. Uses most of them. Steptoe is the answer. Next clue. Sauce for pasta made with basil, pine nuts and garlic. Yes, Chloe. Pesto. Pesto. Well done. Double points for you, Chloe. Step toe and pesto. And Alex Beresford now. Two points if you can get one of these. One point for anyone else. Surname of the first male tennis player to win 20 Grand Slam singles titles. Chloe. Federer. Federer. 
It is Federer. Well done. Nice. And final question of the round. The fleshy hanging parts of human aural organs. <laughs> yes, Chloe. Earlobes. Earlobes. You're absolutely right. Earlobes. Well, by Chloe, there's earlobes. Another point to you. Uh, that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our scoreboard. Been very close all week between Matthew and Chloe, and it feels like it's still close today. In fact, it is. Look at that. Matt, you got nine points. Chloe, ten points out there in the lead. <laughs> is Matt going to get a second win of the week? Is Chloe going to get her third? Martel, can you come back? Alex, can you come back? We've got two rounds to do it. Round four today is... And the answer isn't. Now, in this round, I'm going to ask you each a question. There will be four possible answers. One of those answers is real. The other three were written by your opponents before the show to try and fool you. OK? So, Martel, we'll start with your question. What is the title of the cookbook released in 2011 that Cheryl Crow co-authored with her chef, Chuck White? OK, that's the question. There's going to be four possible answers, and one of them is the real answer. The others were written by Matt, Chloe and Alex. If you get a correct answer, I'm going to give you a point. If you get an incorrect answer, you'll give away a point to whoever has fooled you. OK? Yeah. Martel, here are your four possible answers. What is the title of that cookbook? <laughs> Cooking with music. If it makes you healthy. Chuck's beef. Or all I want to chew. <laughs> Some very good fake answers there. Um, what are we thinking on that? Any you can rule out? Any you're tempted by? I'm thinking Chuck's beef is a little bit not very glamorous. All I want to chew good, but quite British in a way, British punny tabloidy, you know? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, so I'm it. between cooking with music which is yep. a wee bit blander than if it makes you healthy. If it makes you healthy is the cleverest, I think. And then I'm thinking there are so many singers who, out there who do cookbooks, she needs to differentiate it. So she's not just going to go cooking with music. I think she's going to go if it makes you healthy. Singers are healthy, she looks healthy and glowing. And By the way, as an aside, very few things I like more in the world than a Scottish person saying cookbook. <laughs> cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to go with... If it makes you healthy. If it makes you healthy. What do you think at home? You agree with Martel or disagree? So, have you just scored a point? Have you given a point away? Is the answer, if it makes you healthy? It is. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Let's see what everyone else wrote here. Cooking with music was... Alex, Chuck's beef. Chloe. Chloe. It's just a laugh, and isn't it? All I want to chew is Matthew. Matthew, if I gave away bonus points in this round, I'd give you a bonus point there. Uh, Apparently, you're it's quite tabloid, but whatever. <laughs> all... <laughs> but clever. clever. Thank you, Richard. Thank clever you. tabloid, yeah. And Matt, it is now your question. One question, four answers, three people trying to fool you. A study by Australia's Macquarie University Fish Lab found that sharks have a particular fondness for which genre? of music. Do they have a particular fondness for jazz? A particular fondness for house music? Do they have a fondness for techno? Or do sharks like rock and roll? Jazz, house music, techno, rock and roll. What are your initial thoughts? What I thought it was isn't there. I said, oh, what did you think it was? Classical music. It's always, it's always in those studies, I thought it, it would be that yeah. sort of thing. Um, Jazz, for me, I think, would be quite erratic for a very um, elegant creature. <laughs> uh, house music is a bit specific, and I think that's Alex's. Interesting. Interesting, that's a Rock side game. Rock roll. I think the repetitive nature of techno because it wouldn't be repetitive to... Uh... Oh, no, I'm thinking of goldfish. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so you think sharks love techno? I think sharks like techno. So you're saying techno. Um, what do you think at home? Agree or disagree on that one? Has Matt Horn just scored a point or has he given a point away? It's quite a crucial time. Is the answer techno? It is not. You've given a point away. What was the correct answer? Jazz. Jazz was the correct answer. So, Matt, you have given away a point. 
I know you'll be hoping you haven't given it to Chloe. <laughs> Who have you given it to? Martel, you've given it to. Well played, Martel. Techno. Um, house music, was that by Alex? It was by Alex, <laughs> well done. Uh, and rock and roll was Chloe. And Chloe, you now have a question all of your own with four possible answers. The early stages of frostbite is known as what? That's a nice one, isn't it? <laughs> You've got four possible answers. Are the early stages of frostbite known as numb thumbs? <laughs> blue bits? <laughs> Oofed, that's cold. Or frost nip? Hmm. So as much as I love it to be if that's cold, yeah. I will be ruling that one out quite early. It doesn't feel quite as scientific as some things, yeah. I think numb thumbs, probably not as well on the same logic. And also, you know, it's your other extremities as well, so not mm. just the thumbs. So I'm kind of between blue bits and frost nip. Interesting, blue bits and frost nip. It's a lovely CBBC show about a squirrel <laughs> and, a, uh, and a hedgehog <laughs> who are best friends. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to go with... Blue bits feels like my instinct, so I'm going to go with that. we go with blue bits. What do you think at home? Agree with Chloe, disagree? Is it blue bits? It is not. You've given a point away. The correct answer was... Frost nip. Um, who have you given a point to? Again, you'll be hoping it is not Matt. Martel again. <laughs> what, <laughs> oh, what a round you're having. Very impressive. Three out of three so far. Numb thumbs was Alex and, oof, that's cold, giving up a point in honour of comedy, Matt Horn uh, <laughs> wrote that one. And Alex, final question in this round, and it goes to you. One question, four answers, three opponents, all trying to fool you. What was unusual about a postcard received by Brittany Keach, a resident of Belding, Michigan, in September 2020? It was addressed to Brittany Beach. It was sent in 1920. It was meant for Britney Spears. Or it was from the US president. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it would be quite cool if it was sent in 1920. Yeah. I mean, that would be newsworthy. Yeah. Yes, I see what you mean, yeah. Uh, We'd have heard about it. Uh, Britney Spears... I'm going to rule out and say, thanks, Chloe. <laughs> but I'm not going to go down that route. Interesting. Uh, Alex wants to read someone's mind now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> get, get it, it was from the president. I think that was probably Miss Maxwell over there. I mean, it was addressed to Crittany Beach. <laughs> I mean, that that's not... Or is it? Mm. OK, what, I'm going to go with it was sent in 1920 and it suddenly turned up somewhere. Yeah, sent in 1920. What do you think at home? you agree with that? Disagree with that? Let's find out, shall we? Has Alex scored the final point of the round? He has indeed. Well played, Alex. Nicely done. Yeah, it was sent to the person who lived at that address at the time. Uh, turned up from 1920. Have you correctly identified who wrote all the others? It was addressed to Crittany Beach. <laughs> it was, Matt. Again, taking one for the team. Uh, it was meant for Britney Spears. It was Martel. You got those the uh, other way round. Way round. Okay. But it was from the US president. It's the end of the round. It's the end of round four. We only have one round to go. And that is Answer Smash. Let's see how we stand. It was a very good round for Martel, that one as well. Alex, you have three. Martel in touching distance on six. Matt, you got nine. Chloe on ten. Still just that one point lead with one round to go. Wow. This could go either way, couldn't it? Martelli, you could still catch up as well. Just the four points off the lead. Shall we play it? It is, of course. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. It's quite <laughs> tense in here. Um, let's do it. Your first category is... Emmy Award winners. The pictures will be Emmy Award winners. Which classic novel by Herman Melville tells of Captain Ahab's obsessional hunt for a white whale? Yes, Chloe. Moby Dick Van Dyke. Moby Dick Van Dyke. That's the right answer. Moby Dick and Dick Van Dyke. Well done. Next clue, next picture. 
which former member of Wham! released his first solo single, Careless Whisper, in 1984? Yes, Matt. George Michael J. Fox. George Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Very nice. It is attritional stuff. Next one. Candy Staten had a UK top ten hit in 1976 with Young Hearts What? Matt. Ron Fries Witherspoon. That's the right answer. Well done. Ron Free then. Reese Witherspoon. Ron Fries Witherspoon. Uh, next category. Car parts. There we go. We're ramping it up now. Those will be the pictures. What part of a book gives an alphabetical list of names and subjects mentioned and where they appear? Matt. Index sourced pipe. Index sourced pipe? That's the right answer. Well done. Index exhaust pipe, index sourced pipe. Next clue, next picture. The Road to Hell Part 2 and Driving Home for Christmas were top 40 hits for which British singer songwriter? Matt. Chris Rearview Mirror. Chris Rearview Mirror? Damn it. Well done, Matt. Chris Rear, Rearview Mirror. Chris Rearview Mirror. Do we have any more? We do. Animated animals. Those will be your pictures. There'll be clues above. In Great Britain, what type of road is classified directly below an A road? Yes, Alex. Oh, A road runner? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Not A road. Yes, Martel. B road runner. B road runner? Yes, B road runner, I'm afraid, Alex. B road and road runner. Well played, Martel. Next clue, next picture. <laughs> now oh. we're done. Now we're done. What a titanic battle we're oh, having all it. week. Oh. He's done it. Terrific <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Chloe's won two. Has Matt just matched her with two? Certainly has. Matt Horn wins by two points. Well played, Matt. Nicely done. Wow, they are taking it in turns. Matt, your second prize of the week as well. What would you like from this selection? I would like the much coveted dartboard. The dartboard please. goes to Matt Horn. Very well played. We have one day to go. It's double points Friday, which usually can be all important. I suspect when we look at this leaderboard, we might see it's not so important this week. Because they are dead level. <laughs> Chloe and Matt on 14 points each. Martel could still win with eight points tomorrow. Could be done. Alex, you can't win the trophy, but you can win the day tomorrow. That's the thing to remember. And those lovely eight points. Chloe and Matthew, two wins each. Really, really impressive quizzing. Only one of you can win. We're going to find out exactly who that's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be a great show. Do not miss it. We'll see you right here on the House of Games. Where's that going to go, Matt? It's probably going to go on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you think? Yeah, I think oh, it's going to go on the wall, this one. Hello, we've got yeah. a maverick on our hands. Yeah.